Hi, this is Sandy Joe at RhinestoneTemplates.com, and I'm working in WinPC Sign 2014, and I'm going to show you how to take a colored picture. This is a picture I've taken off of um, one of from one of my proofs that I have of one of the T-shirts that I make for our T-shirt shop, and I'm going to show you how to turn this into a vector really easy in WinPC Sign 2014. And um, I've got it at about 10 inches by 12.7 inches, so it's about the size that I would want if I was if I was doing a mock-up or something. So I've got it selected and I just come over to my vectorizing tool on the right hand side. I come down one, two, three, four, five. It has a check mark and it says auto vector. That's what you want to um, go ahead and click and that brings up our, our vectorization, vectorization transformation bar here. And I've got it um, at bezeler set here. You can go to enhance curve or enhance corner if you want to as well, but I pretty much just keep it up on the top one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the magic automatic vectorization wand. I'm going to click over here on my picture and now it shows me my picture and it shows me what it will look like afterwards, a before and after. And I leave it at the levels per color plane. I'll leave it at two. And I'm just going to go ahead and click that and it's going ahead and vectorizing for me and this is the vector part over here and it vectorized right down to that little extra mark that's right there here is the mark right there too so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of that mark and everything is ungrouped at this point because it's vectorized so I can go ahead and I could slide this out if I want to and um, I could go ahead and so that I can see my letters I'll bring that back in I could go ahead and change the color with the color palette on the left hand side, third up from the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and change those fonts a different color here and uh, just so that we can see them just a little bit better. And then we'll be able to, well, let's enlarge this here. It'll make it a lot easier. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and change those out. Change them all to a pink. You could also right click and hit color selection and anything that is the color that you selected um, will be changed out to a pink, you know, as well. If you wanted to do that too, you could do that. And there it changed all over to the, the pink and it actually even changed the white on the inside of the arms right there. So we'll get rid of those and we'll leave the heart red but as you can see you can move everything all around if you want to I'm gonna go ahead and slide that out of the way and we're gonna get rid of the um, those make those white we've got a pin mark showing up and I'll show you how to get rid of those but as you can see these are all vectors now so you can do you can do whatever you want the pin mark just hit the red X down below and it gets rid of that black pin mark that was going around which is the color over here under the P but um, once you vectorize something you've got a good vector so you can go ahead and do whatever it is that you want to it um, you know you can go ahead and and rhinestone it cut it out of vinyl or do whatever when you send it off to your cutter it's going to be color selected so you can select the color um, for cutting by what you want but that's just how you take and you do some you do some vectorizing um, you'll have to play around it just a little bit the better JPEG that you have that comes into the program that you're bringing it in, the better picture, the easier it's going to be to go ahead and, and vectorize for you. If you end up bringing in a, a real fuzzy JPEG, you're going to end up with fuzzy lines on the edges um, after you've tried to, you're not going to have good clean lines like this here. And if you, I'll just click this here and we'll just go ahead and stone this so you can see when you have a good clean line, and I'm going to use a 13 SS for a 10 SS stone, when you have a good clean line, it's going to then produce a really good clean line around the edges but if you have a line I'll go backwards with the X up on top if you have a line that's real fuzzy and real jagged that's the line you're going to end up with too so um, make sure that you have you know before you start that you have some nice lines through here and you can see when I've enlarged this these still look a little jaggy but still vectorized pretty darn good you know on there so um, again this is Sandy Joe at rhinestonetemplates.com just wanted to show you how to do some vectorizing in WinPC 2014 and uh, you're going to be able to you know bring in a lot of black and whites and different things um, images and be able to do some good vectorizing with this program thank you